If two men are not available, then one man and two women whose testimony is acceptable to all, if one of them fails to remember, the other would remind her. Witnesses must not refuse when called upon. And do not think it too trivial to write down, whether small or large, including the time of repayment. That is more equitable with Allah, and stronger as evidence, and more likely to prevent doubt, except in the case of a spot transaction between you, then there is no blame on you if you do not write it. And let there be witnesses whenever you conclude a contract, and let no harm be done to either scribe or witness. If you do that, it is corruption on your part, and fear Allah. Allah teaches you, Allah is aware of everything. If you are on a journey, and cannot find a scribe, then a security deposit should be handed over. But if you trust one another, let the trustee fulfill his trust, and let him fear Allah, his Lord, and do not conceal testimony. Whoever conceals it is sinner at heart, Allah is aware of what you do. To Allah belongs everything in the heavens and the earth, whether you reveal what is within yourselves or conceal it, Allah will call you to account for it. He forgives whom he wills, and he punishes whom he wills, Allah is able to do all things. The Messenger has believed in what was revealed to him from his Lord, as did the believers they all have believed in Allah and his angels and his scriptures. And his messengers, we make no distinction between any of his messengers. And they say, we hear and we obey. Your forgiveness, our Lord. To you is the destiny. Allah does not burden any soul beyond its capacity, to its credit is what it earns, and against it is what it commits. Our Lord, do not condemn us if we forget or make a mistake. Our Lord, do not burden us as you have burdened those before us. Our Lord, do not burden us with more than we have strength to bear, and pardon us, and forgive us, and have mercy on us. You are our Lord and Master, so help us against the disbelieving people.